Hey everybody, it is Billy at Tough Man. We are back at the reef and uh, I've gone over some of your questions on some of our older videos. So I wanna go over some of those and I wanna talk mainly about why reefers fail. I've been in this game for over 25 years, dude. I've done it all, trust me, I've done it all. Anything you can imagine in reefing, I've done it. So here I am now, uh, basically the most simple way I could ever do a reef tank, no water changes, no testing of any kind. I don't own any test kits. Um, I do add a couple things, which I will talk to you about. But um, it's the most simple way. And I use tap water, dude. So what? All right, let's get into it. The tank looking really good. Of course, we repositioned those monster toadstool leathers. If you saw our last video, they were pushed up against the glass. I hacked them at the bottom and moved them. And dude, do they look good. All the corals in here are looking really good right now, man. This is like super, super good. That's how you can tell how your tank is doing. Just look around. I mean, are the uh, torches sweeping? You know, if they are, that's a good sign. Are your lacordias, your mushrooms, are they hyperextended? Are your polyps extended? That's just a way to tell, you know, how your tank's doing. You don't really need a test kit to tell you that. I mean, you look at your corals, right? And so, yeah, like I mentioned, I also picked this up. And this will not do it justice because this thing is fluorescent orange. You probably can't see it. I don't know what that is. Someone tell me what that is. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's really cool. I mean, dude, it's like glowing. So that is really awesome. Uh, yeah, everything doing really good. And so, yeah, I've never tested this thing ever. You know, maybe I had a test kit from like 10 years ago, maybe tucked away somewhere, but really, I've never, I don't test anything. Dude, look at this. Look at this Bonnie, Bonnie Poro, right? Holy smokes, dude. That thing's a monster. It's the size of a basketball, dude. That's that crazy? Like, here's an offshoot of it. And here's some of it, if you can see it back there, it's on the back of that, dude. Those things are monsters. All right, so if you are a lazy reefer or someone that doesn't feel like they want to be a chemist to own a reef tank, the best thing I can tell you is to pick up some of these C-Lab 28s. They are basically how people that don't understand reef chemistry can get by with reefing. I've used these for years and I've had a lot of success, more than anything else that I've done in the tank. And you just plop one or two in and when they dissolve, you put another one in. And you don't have to worry about it overdosing the tank. It has a bunch of, it has 28 trace minerals and you never have to worry about it. I never have and I've had a lot of great success. And I use tap water. I've showed you guys that before, straight from the tap here in Bakersfield, California. I don't know how our water is, but I've used it for years. Um, yeah, so that is one thing that I do. Now, I want to. I do add one more thing. I want to talk about this because this, when you have super corals, like this thing's huge, right? I mean, I don't know if you can see it. That's my hand, right? I mean, these are monster corals. Those things use a lot of nutrients in the tank. They use a lot. And one of the things that one of the biggest things that lack if you ever if you have a hard time keeping the hammers the torches that kind of stuff uh the frog spawns most of the time it is because you are lacking in magnesium that's right magnesium because magnesium helps the calcium work and now you guys are going to say this is crude right you're going to say we're going to get the people from the real reef channels come up and they're going to say oh dude that's horrible all I do is like once a week, I just put one in and I go, bop, that's it. That's it. Once a week on the magnesium and that's it. With the C-Lab 28s. That's it, dude. I don't measure it. I don't do anything else. And then honestly, if I've ever had a time where I felt like these aren't looking so good, right? I, if I add that magnesium in a day or two, they usually look great. So that tells me that the magnesium is playing a super part in the calcium absorption for these corals, okay? And uh, I don't think you can overdose, well, maybe you can, but I just do one squirt, dude, that's it, of the magnesium. So, but I wanna talk about why reefers fail, dude. Why reefers fail, why do you see so many people have tank crashes, why, you know, what is the key to a successful reef, even if you don't know what you're doing? And the key is, you ready for this? It's one word stability stability trumps everything dude stability in a reef tank is everything now, how do you achieve stability one is live rock okay as much live rock as you can put into your tank the better because it will handle uh spikes and ammonia or if something breaks down this rock, because there's so much surface area, including the 3D background that I have, right, which is its own live rock, that whole thing, this is a lot of live rock. 
And that is part of stability. It manages the toxicities big time, okay? And if you don't wanna put it in your display, stack it in your sump, okay? Stack it in your sump if you have to. Just get yourself some live rock and you don't have to buy the live rock. Just go buy regular, you know, dead rock and throw it in there and it will turn to live rock. But that will help big time, stability. Also too, you know, it always seems like the more I don't, and the reason why there's no really reason to do a water change, if you have a protein skimmer, you really don't need anything because that is stripping out all of the stuff that you would be doing in a water change. So as long as your skimmer is working properly and you're cleaning it often, that's another thing too, you gotta clean those things way more than people probably do, then you will be able to not do water changes and then your water, because you're not doing those water changes, that the water itself becomes more stable because it's more consistent and the corals get used to it. You know, the thing is too, is like if you have temperatures in your tank that are going up and down, up and down, you know, your corals don't like that stuff. So the more, like I put mine at 78 year round, I got an AC on it, it's 78 degrees, boom. 78 degrees, it doesn't change, it doesn't do anything. And uh, yeah, so, that's probably the biggest thing that people fail at is they're doing water changes all the time. Dude, if you're doing water changes like once every two weeks, how can your tank possibly be stable? Honestly, like it, it, it can't even like, even if it's like a level like this, that people say, oh yeah, but you're keeping corals, you could keep in a trash can. All right, whatever, dude. At the end of the day though, stability matters. And people that are doing water changes all the time, in my opinion, their perimeters are all over the place, dude. Because... They have, like, they're, they don't build up the bacteria, like, you know, the amount of good bacteria in the live rock that handles heavy loads. So if they don't do their water change, because, they're, because their live rock isn't set up to handle that bio load, it crashes, dude. Or, it, you know, you start seeing tanks melt down and people, or they get green algae problems. They don't know why. They can't figure it out. Well, you don't see any green algae here, right? I feed these things all the time. I feed them all the time. And I don't put, like I said, I'm not doing water changes. And there's been times where it's, my skimmer hasn't worked for weeks, dude, and it doesn't matter, right? So that tells you that that, that hey, Poppy, look at Poppy up here being a good boy. But uh, that tells you that stability matters, dude. It, stability, you know, in my opinion, is way better than a pristine tank with massive water changes and heavy equipment. You don't need much more than a protein skimmer. I know. So for some people, that's half the hobby is building these awesome, uh, you know, structures underneath their tanks and sophisticated stuff. I get it, dude. For some, everybody's in this thing for a different thing. But I'm telling you, for the average everyday reefer that just wants to have a good time, stability is everything. So get as much live rock as you can. I know it can get expensive. And if you already have some live rock in there, don't worry about putting uh, like, you know, just get yourself some kind of rock and just start putting it in there. And then, you know, in my opinion, you're gonna hate what I said. Roll back on the water changes. Don't be adding a ton of stuff. Like, don't be adding. Like, I people say, like, you know, do you, what do you add as far as you know? I don't know. What, what, what do you what do you have for at reactors and stuff like that? I go. I don't have any of that stuff, dude. What are you talking about? Like, I don't have that stuff. You know, I have tap water, dude. And I top it off when it when it evaporates. That's it. So like, you can do whatever you want, but if you want to keep it simple. And you want to have, I mean, you should be able to keep anything you see in this tank, dude. Anything you see. We got some, but look, I got some hard corals in here. There's a few of them. You know, all that stuff. You want to keep the hammers. You want to keep the torches. All that, you know, you want to keep that stuff. I've had the thing forever, dude. You want to keep that stuff? Keep it simple. And keep it stable. That's the key word, stability. So anyway, there it is. And uh, yeah, I did get some. I had a fellow reefer who got me some Green Star Pulse. I've never really been into that i know some people hate them because they take over everything but i thought it'd be cool to have them on the background add some spice back there it's, those are fluorescent too man they don't they don't kind of show the color but i did get that and then uh, all this stuff is doing really good this stuff's all bouncing back remember i almost lost this i don't know if you saw my last video i burned them down with some new lights but we did get that going back and uh man i wish you guys could see the real color of this tank i wish you could see it because uh it is just on fire dude like this thing right here, oh God, dude, you should see this thing in person, dude. It's insane. And these, dude. So anyway, there you go. Keeping it simple, update on the reef, stability, splash some magnesium in there. If uh, you see your, you feel, uh, like hammers, torches, frog spawns, not looking so great, a little splash of magnesium will help. 
and get your sea labs in there and then outside that just enjoy your reef dude don't make it a hassle just enjoy it all right thanks for watching this is billy at btuff